welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the idea of the keyboard shortcut control shift left bracket, which will allow us to select all presidents, not just the direct presidents of a specific cell. So with that, let's get started. Now that we have Excel open, in our last video, we looked at the idea of using control left bracket in order to find what are the precedents, essentially what are the values that create this individual value. So we know that this is essentially the equation of J17 minus K17 equals L17. So essentially saying the total year end revenue minus the total year end costs equals our total year end profits. It's pretty straightforward. We looked at the keyboard shortcut of control left bracket in order to select that. And essentially the control left bracket will select the individual values that directly contribute this, right? But they're actually, these individual cells are calculations themselves. So these cells are basically made up of these values, the sum of these values. And these values here are made up of a calculation from these values. So what we can do is if we want to find all the things that are related to this final value, we can press the control key, the shift key and the left bracket arrow. It's going to tell you, well, this key is these, these cells are related and then these cells are all related. So everything is related to this last value. Meaning that if I were to change any single value, this core value here would change. So I'm going to put this in red, say that I change this to 249. This is going to change. If I change this to 14, this last value is going to change. If I change this to 200, this value is going to change. So again, the keyboard shortcut of control shift left bracket is just a cool way to, to tell you what individual values contribute to, contribute to this underlying final value. Another way to, to do that, we're going to hit control Z. Another way to do that would be to come up here, go to find and select special. Now, unfortunately in Excel 2013, you can't, well, technically you can. So I guess you select precedent precedence, and then you select all levels rather than direct only. So you select all levels and it would give you that same result. So we could also hit deselect by pressing the control key and the shift key and the backspace key. We'll come here, we'll hit alt home FD and then go to special, tab over. Clearly that just absolutely failed. I won't waste your time anymore, but you could do it with the keyboard. And then you select all values, hit okay, and then we can show those individual values. So in this video, we looked at the keyboard shortcut of control shift left bracket, which will show all the precedents of all the three values that give you your final value here in column L17. We could also achieve this by pressing the button up here, going to go to special precedents, selecting all levels, okay. Or lastly, we could press alt home FD special precedents all okay. In our next video, we'll look at kind of a quite related topic of looking at dependence. So essentially everything that comes after this value. So check that out in our next value, in our next video, where we'll look at dependent only direct values. Check that out and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.